Welcome, welcome! I'm Sophia from Lipstick Junkie Forever and today I'll be reviewing the Urban Decay Naked Ultraviolet Palette. I've also created three distinct eyeshadow looks, so if you're interested in seeing how the eyeshadows perform, just stick to the end of the video. Also, please note that this eyeshadow palette was sent to me for review, however, all the opinions in the video are my own. So let's talk about the palette now. The palette comes in this beautiful component that's made of sturdy plastic, and that's what houses the eyeshadows. And there's this gorgeous inlay that looks like a purple geode. It's absolutely lovely. To be honest, I probably would have purchased this palette just for the packaging. Because let's be realistic, we've purchased things before just for the packaging. At least I know I have, and if you tell me that you didn't, I would probably think you're lying. So let me know if you have actually purchased things in the past just for the packaging alone. Continuing on, let's talk about the actual inside. The palette comes with a full-size mirror, 12 eyeshadows laid out from lightest to deepest, and a brush. This dual-ended brush is actually uh, very useful in this palette. It's got a blending brush side and then also a pencil brush side. So if you didn't have one until now, you have it uh, if you buy this palette. Okay, so now let's talk about the eyeshadows. You know, the stuff you're actually purchasing the palette for. So the palette is made up of 12 eyeshadows. Uh, five of them are in the warm neutral range. Then there is an eyeshadow topper that is minty. And the final six are made up of various shades of purple. Though that last one is a little more brown than purple. So take that into uh, account when you're buying this palette. Now that I've shown you the swatches, I'm going to show you the three looks I created with this palette. One of them is the one I'm wearing right now. And I will tell you how I feel about the palette at the very end. The first look that I'm creating is an everyday glam look and I'm starting with Mind Slip, which is a matte peach. I've already primed my eyes and done one of them, but I'm blending Mind Slip into the crease and this will be a transition shade for me. This applies really beautifully. Uh, I think this formula is fantastic. Then I'm going in with Hacked, which is a matte mauve, and I'm also putting that in my crease, but I'm concentrating it on the outer half to deepen that portion. Then I'm going in with Dazed, which is a shimmery peach on the inner half of my eyelid. I'm applying it with my finger because A, applying shimmers with a uh, finger just generally gives a better look, but also I found that this uh, eyeshadow, when applied with a brush, even a wet brush, was too soft for my liking. Uh, it was just a little wash of color, but I wanted more oomph, so that's what I'm doing here. Then I'm going in with VR, which is a shimmery peach, with some purple shimmer and I'm putting that on the outer two-thirds of my eye overlapping in the center with dazed here I'm wiping away fallout there's a good amount of fallout with this palette now I'm using trippin as my brow bone and inner corner highlight and this is not a very bright eyeshadow so you will not be seen from across the universe probably not even down the street then I'm using uh, Digital as my liner. I like to use eyeshadow as eyeliner versus a liquid liner because I find that it really gives a softer look to the eye, especially for a person like me who doesn't have a lot of eyelid real estate up there. It's great for day-to-day -day wear like that because it isn't overpowering. To finish off the look, I'm using Dazed on the inner half of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to be finishing out the outer half of my lower lash line with VR mixed with a little bit of digital which i just applied as liner and this is the final look it's very soft it's very pretty it's daytime appropriate and if you tone it down it's even work appropriate and it can be easily scaled up for a date or event or an event if you dress it up with lashes and liquid liner my second look is a purple smoky eye this is actually a very easy look to create I'm going in with Hacked in my crease as the transition shade. This is not a look that would require a lot of the shades, but it is very impactful. Smoky eyes are notoriously difficult, and this is actually so easy that you will probably be doing it all the time. I know I will. Then I'm going in with Trippin as my brow bone and inner corner highlighter. I decided to put it on first, and then I'm going to just uh, clean that up a little bit later as well and apply more. I'm taking a denser brush to then apply Purple Dust, which is a shimmery deep purple eyeshadow. I've already done one eye, as you can see. I'm building up that eyeshadow. 
even with a denser brush, there isn't much pigmentation that applies right off the bat, which actually makes it easier to control the shade. Um, the shadow applies essentially blended out right off the brush, so it's a little less scary to work with than perhaps a pigmented eyeshadow would be. It's ideal for someone in a rush or who doesn't have a lot of skill with application. Overall, I actually found this look to be very easy to create and I loved it so much that I will be including it in my repertoire. Um, this is the kind of palette where you build up a look versus blend until you reach perfection. So I think that is the saving grace. You will still need to blend out a little bit, but not much. I applied a little bit of the shadow on the lower lash line too to tie in the look together. Now I wet my brush with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and applied the same eyeshadow, Purple Dust, over that area just to deepen the lid space. This is what I meant by building up a look. I put the softer effect down first and then made my eyelid more pigmented. And I think that's what makes this look so much easier to create. I thought the look needed a little bit more oomph and so I added a little euphoric. It is a satin periwinkle in the center of the eyelid. And I'm finishing up by blending everything together with my finger and then I'm going to be blending everything together with my brush as you see right here. I'm just highlighting my inner corners again and brushing off all the fallout that somehow reached my lips. Definitely do your face makeup after you finish with the eyeshadow. This is the final look. It's actually really beautiful. It's one of my favorites that I've created with this palette and I've played with it quite a little bit. Um, definitely part of my repertoire. The final look that I'm going to do is a colorful purple look. And again, my eyes are primed. I'm starting by putting optimized a lavender shade in my crease as my transition shade. This is not a true matte eyeshadow, by the way. It does have a little bit of shimmer, but it acts like a true matte. And as you can see, it works really well in the crease, blends out beautifully. Then I'm taking Warning, which is a pinky purple satin. And I'm just deepening up that crease with a little bit more of that pinky shade. Then I'm using Cyberpunk, which is a satin warm purple, and adding that on. I didn't think it was giving me enough pigment, even with my finger, so I took some eyeshadow on my finger, wet my finger with Urban Decay uh, All Nighter Setting Spray, and applied it over my eyelid like that. I think that that was the best way to apply this eyeshadow to get the most impact. Then I'm using the pencil brush that came with the palette in order to do my corners, because I wanted it to be precise. And I'm blending out that eyeshadow all into my crease. I'm now going to be using Euphoric in the center of my eye to just give it a little bit more impact. And then I'll be deepening up the corner of my eyelid with purple dust. I'm taking whatever was left on my brush on my inner corner lash line to tie the look up with a bow. And finally, I'm using Lucid, which is a minty transformer shade in my inner corner as a highlighter. I love this shade so much. It is just absolutely stunning and I think it really tied this look together completely. I'm using uh, Lucid again in the center of my eye to give the eyelid a little bit more of like a halo look. And I really love this look once I completed it with eyeliner and lashes. I think it came out really beautiful. Now that I've had an opportunity to play around with the palette a little bit, I have a few opinions on it. First of all, it's not a very pigmented palette, nor do I think it's meant to be a pigmented palette. I think the fact that it's part of the Naked series means that there's a specific end user in mind, and that end user is the type of person who generally leans towards neutral tones, very rarely if ever plays with color, but wants to, and is specifically attracted to purple because I think purple just suits everybody. Um, they like the kind of looks that don't take a lot of time to create, you know, they don't want to blend a lot, and they're possibly scared of pigment. So I think that with that in mind, it's easier to understand where this palette is coming from. However, regardless of who the ultimate end user of this eyeshadow palette is, regardless of whether that is a novice or an expert in eyeshadow application, I feel like this palette is just lacking in matte eyeshadows. Very specifically, a deep matte purple eyeshadow that can truly elevate and enhance the looks that you can already create with this palette. And because it is lacking that eyeshadow, I feel like the palette is not... Um, 
cohesive enough or uh, versatile enough for for me as to whether you should buy this eyeshadow palette or not that is definitely a decision that is very personal to you and it wholly depends on what kind of eyeshadow palette you're looking for if you're looking for a very pigmented eyeshadow palette uh, where you you know create a lot of deep or powerful looks and you don't mind blending eyeshadow for two days until your arms fall off this is probably not the eyeshadow palette for you however if you're looking for the type of eyeshadow palette that you can use to create 10 minute looks doesn't take a lot of blending has some more neutrally tones has some more pops of color i think that maybe this is a palette that you should consider i personally fall in between those two categories however i already have pigmented eyeshadows that i can use i just don't use them every day because i work in the professional sector what i am missing is a purple eyeshadow palette that is easy to create looks with and easy to blend out and because of that i think that i will be using this eyeshadow palette more frequently uh, than not to be honest so what do you think about this eyeshadow palette is this something that you would buy if it is please comment below with a fly money fly and if it's not something that you would buy write down stay money stay thank you so much for joining me for this review i will see you next time bye the palette is made up of that that's what the palette is made up of <laughs>